Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my sister being tabs on the wall actually, sorry, being the wall on YouTube. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. So I'm gonna show you how to take um, sleeve measurements. So I'm gonna have you um, put your arm again up around your waist like that. So this is how you are going to take them. So the measurements we'll need will be from the shoulder, which will be your sleeve cap or head, shoulder to elbow, right? Then mine over here is 32. Then shoulder to wrist, which over here is 60 centimeters. And then we are going to take circumference measurements. So bicep, you usually take it from here, but I take it like this. This is how I do it. So bicep measurement. And then elbow measurement. Right, and then wrist measurement. All of these measurements will be in the video somewhere. Uh, throughout the video, they'll be there. So don't worry, I was just showing you how to take those measurements. Remember, it's from shoulder, sleeve head to elbow, sleeve head again or shoulder to wrist. Those are our horizontal measurements. And then our vertical measurements will be our bicep measurement, our elbow measurement, and then our wrist measurement. Hope you got all of that. So um, yeah, carry on into watching the entire video. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be on construction of a sleeve. And the first thing you're going to need, of course, is your bodice block. This here is our bodice block, the one that we created here on the channel. And what you need is this part over here, which is the armholes of the front and the back. And what we're going to do first is to measure our sleeve head height and what i will do is just to draw a straight line from the back here this is the back so i'm just drawing a straight line and from this straight line we are going to uh, measure from the line all the way to here where the armholes meet of the front and the back so the measurement we are getting over here is 20 centimeters Keep that in mind, we will be using it soon. Now that we know our sleeve head height, we are going to fold our paper, which is this paper over here, into half. And now that the paper has been folded, we are going to begin drafting our sleeve. So, using this edge here, as the middle of our sleeve, it's also going to be our green line. We are going to take the L square and square and line. I just like to leave a little bit on top. So that's what I'm doing here. Just going to square a line. That will be our sleeve head uh, line. What we're going to do next is to measure down our sleeve head height. Remember the measurement we just took right now? So our sleeve head height is 20 centimeters. It would be over here, but from it, we are going to minus five centimeters. So minus five centimeters, this will be where we draw the next line. And this next line is going to be our bicep line. So from the crane line, we are going to square 
across. This is our biceps line. Now that we have our bicep line over here, we are going to move on down to our elbow and our wrist. So our elbow line is from our sleeve head down and it is, it is 34 centimeters, which is over here. After we've marked that, we are going to square across. That's our elbow line. Now we are going to get our wrist. Um, so our wrist is going to be from our sleeve head all the way down which is going to be 60 centimeters. And then we are going to go ahead and square across. Now that we are done with the horizontal measurements, we are going to go vertically. So now we are going to mark our circumferences. So starting with our bicep, our bicep measured 30 centimeters. So because we folded our paper in half, it means we are working on only half of um, our sleeve. So we are only going to measure half going that direction. So our bicep measurement is 30, which means our bicep, half bicep measurement is 15 centimeters. We are going to mark that and leave it right there. And then we are going to go over to our elbow and our elbow measurement is 23 centimeters. So half of 23 is 11.5. So 11.5 is going to be over here. We're going to mark it and leave it right there. And for our wrist measurement, our wrist measures 19 centimeters. So divide that by two, our wrist is going to be 9.5 centimeters. Wait, 9.5 centimeters, which is over here, I'm sorry. So 9.5 is over here. So now what we're going to do is to join all of the all of the points together so this will join to that and then this will join to this and then what we're going to do is to extend this line here all the way to the head but using um, dotted lines So now what we are going to do is to fold here, this part here, we are going to fold it over here so that we can get half of whatever this um, space here is. So take this part, right, and fold it over here. And make sure that you crease it. So make sure that this is creased thoroughly to this line, the bicep line. Once that we are happy with that, we are going to mark this with a dotted line. We are creating our head when we are doing this. After we are done with that, now we are going to take um, this part here and make sure that it meets this line here. So this line has to meet this one here so that we find half of the space here. 
So this is the part here, just... Right. And then crease, crease the middle thoroughly, open it up, and then go on ahead and mark a dotted line. Now that we are done with that, we are going to begin shaping our sleeve head. On top here, the middle of the sleeve, we are going to go in a quarter of an inch mark. In the middle here, we are going to go up there. We are going to go up a three quarters of an inch mark three quarters of an inch and then here on this bicep part this line here on the corner we are going to go in first a half an inch and then an inch now that we have all of those marked we are going to draw our sleeve so i want to go in with a pencil first to just shape it and then um after that i can use a marker so you're going to move from this a quarter of an inch mark so it will come in straight first and then start shaping towards this point. Make it domey, like a, a dome shape. And then we're going to move from this um, three quarters of an inch towards the one inch mark, but not hit the one inch mark. Just trace what's the one inch mark, right? And then come from this part here, which is our, from our bicep to the half an inch mark, move straight and then start moving up when you get to the half inch mark. Now, if you are happy with uh, what you've created, you can, of course, go ahead and draw in your sleeve head with a marker, which is what I'm going to do right about now. Okay. So now that we are done, we are going to take our pair of scissors and we are going to cut out our um, little pattern but before then I want to uh, make sure that this line is visible from the other side so I'm going to take my um, tracing wheel and make sure that I have markers of this line on the other side And now we can cut. When we open this up, we have a full sleeve. And that's how it is looking. So Right now, what we're going to do is to make sure that we uh, differentiate the front and the back. So this will be our back, while this will be our front. And to do that, we need to go in on this hairline that we just drew 
with a tracing wheel we're going to go in a quarter a quarter of an inch which is over there now we are going to draw out that part so basically what we are doing is just shaping our sleeve a little bit in there and then we are going to go ahead and cut that piece out because we don't need it for the front and this is our finished sleeve and for sure this will fit our pattern this will fit this pattern perfectly just remember that this is the front and this is the back you can even notch it if you want and how you do that is to just um, just measure from here upwards from here upwards and then whatever you measured from here upwards you transfer over here what you measure from this side upwards you can repop that measurement over here all right that is it on our sleeve block i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it is helpful to you in your creations happy creating from jane m